So I decided to make a video about the cheapest possible LED light bulb you can ever get. And this one cost me just 70 cents including shipping from China. And as you can see this light bulb came like this. The light bulb came in such an envelope and when it arrived it was already disassembled so it made my life easier. The top was already popped off, so the post office actually helped me to disassemble it. And this is the LED light bulb. Here you can see the board. There are six LEDs, a bridge rectifier and four resistors. And if I take this board out, you can see electrolytic capacitor and this capacitor in the capacitive dropper and this one microfarad 400 volts DC okay this light bulb is called 3 watts but let's find out is it really 3 watts both of them are actually sold as 3 watts so let's use a watt meter and check what's the real power input the cool white one is 1.68 watts and the warm white one is 1 1.47 watts so it's, that's about half of the rated power so I have made a schematic here you can see the capacitive dropper with one microfarad capacitor rated 400 volts DC it's discharge resistor there's a bridge rectifier a filter capacitor, a discharge resistor, series resistor and six LEDs. There are really just six chips, six LEDs and each package has just one chip in it. So there's actually just six LEDs in series with only 19 volts across them and the current is 60 milliamps. There's absolutely no inrush limiting, there is no inrush limiting resistor, no fuse or fusible resistor. So I'm not very sure how long those LEDs are going to last because they will suffer inrush current. When I take a look at the board, it's actually not aluminum, it's just a classic ordinary PCB board, which probably is not very heat conductive, so there's in fact almost no heat sinking whatsoever, there are just some bigger copper pads on the board which may be enough to dissipate about 1 or 1.5 watts so the conclusion is that for 70 cents including shipping it's actually not so bad the heat sinking is poor but because the real power going to the LEDs is just 1.14 watts it's actually not such a big problem the only problem is that there is no fuse or fusible resistor, so its safety is a bit questionable. But if there was a fusible resistor to limit the inrush current and stop the current in case of short circuit, it would be a good product, good as a night light or emergency light.